Dome of Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed, baby. Now, middleweight division, right around there, could be 160, 168, is super middleweight. Uh, sir guy, Darian Chinko, Ukraine bring the pain. The guy for the, with the close fights, right? Sir guy, Darian Chinko, uh, is, you know, mulling over if he's going to fight Canelo or Jamal Charlo. Two great fights, two championships fights for Sir guy, Darian Chinko. And you're going to remember, you know, you remember his name, you know, because he gave Gennady Golovkin a good fight in his last fight. Arguably won it. A lot of people had him winning that fight, right? He gave Daniel Jacobs a pretty good fight. He lost a split decision to Daniel Jacobs. Those are two middleweights that at their time could at least both, from their perspective, think they were were the best middleweight. Gennady Golovkin anyway, at the time at least, could be thinking I'm the best middleweight. First fight against Canelo, I got a draw, but damn it, I won that fight. Everybody know it. So I'm the best middleweight. Right? Darren Chico was in that fight. Daniel Jacobs, was like, if Gennady Golovkin is the best middleweight, I beat Gennady Golovkin in Daniel Jacobs' world. Mine too, by the way, and a whole lot of other people had him up by a point. Whole England had him up by a point on the English feed. So I'm just saying, so he's thinking he's the best middleweight. Have a close fight against Darren Chinko. Not too much separation there. So Darren Chinko can't really hate on him, right? Getting all this opportunity, which we'll get into, but at the end of the day, he's taking the fight. You know what I'm saying? You know, he's not like, well, no, I better not fight, uh, you know, I better not fight uh, Gennady Golovkin. It doesn't fit my style. You know, his style is coming forward. I don't like to deal with that. No, I better not mess with Daniel Jacobs, man. He's a little tall and rangy. He's got a little bit too much speed or something. But that style doesn't fit me, right? So now he's going to decide if I'm going to fight another style in Jamal Charlo or another style in Canelo. He's not saying no to all different, four different styles. So we got to give him the props for that because a lot of other fighters are not in the same weight division, right? You know, you know, Canelo ain't fighting some certain styles, you know, if you don't have to. So, you know, your boy, um, Darren Chenko, he's worthy of, of uh, getting these opportunities, you know, but it's the bottom line is, you know, his resume is kind of there. Toriana Johnson win and, you know, a couple of other guys were pretty, you know, had good records, you know, and close fights where people think he should have had a rematch with uh, definitely with Janaya Golovkin. That's cool. But we got to be real here. <clears throat> the champion, you know, should be fight. Canelo, Andre, Charlo, that kind of thing is supposed to be happening. We just keep looking for people who aren't those. That's the bottom line. You know what I mean? So that's what you have to address. For me, that's why when somebody asks me who's the best middleweight, then I go with Demetrius Andre. And because all those things are factored in. It's like, hey, how can a guy be there in Canelo's weight since the beginning and have a title and been begging to fight you since the beginning? And it's continuing. We had an undisputed fight that could have happened between them just last year on Mexican holiday. It just didn't happen. Nobody's mentioned it. Not, you know, just... Totally oblivious to that happening, right? And he's continuing being there. So the reaction, the guy Golovkin don't want to fight him. Those are supposed to be the best ones that are in pound for pound. Not both of them are in some people's top five pound for pound. They don't want any part of this guy. That factors into what something, and then the other boxers are putting him in their top three. The boxers, you hear from a lot of, not only Sean Porter, who is his boy, but others. You know, he's he's heralded amongst boxers. That's also factored in. Doesn't matter what they're telling us and who he wants to fight and how we're going to keep asking the guy who has he fought when everybody that's somebody don't want to fight him. That just doesn't work. You know what I mean? Unless you, that's what, unless you want that to work on you or some way kind of naive and want it to be that way or just don't give a damn or something like that. But once you start realizing what the facts are, the guy just couldn't get, can't get a fight forever against these guys, and they're ranked higher than him. And, you know, let me just mention something while we're here, right? You're a champion. Can't get other champions to fight you. And your mandatory doesn't want to fight you either, right? And then you have to, you know, which is Jaime Munguia. Jaime Munguia doesn't want to fight Demetrius Andre, and he's his mandatory. 
So they're going to say, well, he's going to fight Leon Williams. Who the hell is Leon Williams? Why he get a champ? See, who you fighting? The dude after the other, the first dude. That's who Leon Williams is. Because that first dude, the mandatory, don't want nothing. Just like the champions either. So for me, that guy is the best middleweight. Do you understand? Regardless of what some kind of people are putting on paper and stuff, that's happening. Has to factor in. So um, at the end of the day, though, we know who's not getting the opportunity. And if you're looking at it from a fan perspective, Darian Chinko is a good fight with either one of them guys. And for the guys fighting Darian Chinko, if you're not going to fight other champions, right, you know, you don't have anything other to, to gain. It's not like you're going to get a belt for fighting Darian Chico. But everybody knows there's not been separation with those other guys. So if you can do something to Darren Chico that others hasn't, haven't, then maybe you can get some props for that. It, well, Darren Chico will not be considered a cherry pick in a lot of people's eyes, is what I'm trying to say. You know, it's still Darren Chico. And his two losses, well, at least one of them definitely was controversial. And it was to Gennady Golovkin. So, you know, you can roll with that. So he's a Ukraine bring the pain type of dude, straight up kind of dude. But I'm happy for him that he can, you know, have his opportunity. But I'm not happy with the situation. I personally, and I know a lot of you, would rather see Canelo versus Andre for Undisputed last year. But anyway now, or Canelo versus your boy uh, Jamal Charlo in Mexico, so I mean Mexico or in uh, Texas somewhere. Those are the fights that really need to happen. But let's see what's up with Darren Chico. Congratulations, I think. Don't sports talk worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.